Welcome to my YouTube channel everyone. This playlist is dedicated to SketchUp users from beginners to intermediate levels. We will explore step by step from basic tools to the latest plugins. After completing this playlist, you will be able to create countless DIY projects and the potential of the software is limited only by the user's imagination. You can create interior designs, materials, components, tools, furniture, homes and more. You can also export a list of necessary materials for the project as well as the costs involved. I'm sure you'll find these videos extremely useful, so after watching I invite you to subscribe for free, like or even share with interested friends to support this project. So let's stop the introductions and get to work. This is one of the episodes about how to use SketchUp. In this episode I will explain how to set shortcuts for tools to create our model much faster. As you may have already noticed, I have introduced the keys or key combinations for quick commands that I use in the video. Also, when I use left click, you will see red circles around the pointer and when I use right click, you will see blue circles. This will help you replicate my commands to practice and gain the necessary skills to use the shortcuts. You can use the same keys or set other keys based on muscle memory developed from other programs, language or other preferences. Let's quickly solve this issue. To set shortcuts for different program functions, we will access Window and then Preferences. We access the Shortcuts section and in the filter bar we will search for the tool for which we want to set a shortcut. Let's search for example for the rotate command. First we identify exactly the desired tool because many tools have similar names or are found in another toolbar and have completely different functions. We will choose the rotate tool from the tools menu and in the Assigned section we will see if the tool already has a predefined shortcut or not because not all tools have preset shortcuts. In our case we have the R key as the default shortcut. To change this shortcut we enter the desired shortcut in the Add Shortcut section, let's say the Q key. We press plus on the right and we see that the Q key is added as a shortcut together with the R key for the same tool. So both keys are now shortcuts for the Rotate tool. If we want to keep only the Q key as a shortcut, we select the R key and click on minus. I will leave the R key as a shortcut for Rotate. But what happens if we try to use an already set shortcut? As an example, I will look for another tool 
let's say the rectangle tool. We will see that it has the shortcut I introduced previously, the D key. The moment we try to assign an already used shortcut, let's say the R key from rotate, we will see that we are notified that this key is already a shortcut for rotate and we are asked if we still want to reassign that shortcut to the rectangle tool. I do not want this, so I will select no and then OK to keep the settings. Also, there is a reset all button to reset shortcuts back to defaults. And that's it. Now you can create your own shortcuts that will help you complete your desired project much faster. Don't forget to subscribe for free, give a like or share the tutorial with interested friends to support the DIY Workshop channel.